Hey guys, so this video I'm going to show you how to get this beachy wave hairstyle which is really easy and simple to do for summer and honestly it's just an updated of my very 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 old one uh, what was it called like how to scrunch or something so if you haven't checked out that one please do but this one's just an updated version with new products so I hope you guys like it and uh, thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys later bye okay so the first thing you want to do is start off with wet hair um, I just got out of the shower not too long ago and it's kind of already drying because I was doing my makeup so I had it wrapped up in a towel but to get a good scrunch and not so much frizz, you really want to start with damp hair. Not saturated, you know, dripping wet, but you definitely don't want it to kind of start drying, especially if you have straight hair. And also if you have curly hair like myself, because it's curly, yes, so it's going to be easier to scrunch, but also it can get really, really, really frizzy, and we don't want that at all. So, start with your hair. And the first thing I'm going to do is use my Chi Keratin Hair Mist. And what this is, it's just like a strengthening kind of heat protectant sort of thing. And I really, really love this product. It's one of my holy grails. I'll always probably continue to purchase this. It's just wonderful. So I'm just going to spray this all in my hair. Really get the ends good. A few minutes you definitely don't want to brush your hair before you do this um, brushing your hair is going to brush out any sort of natural texture you may have in your hair and we really want that to stay also if you have curly wavy hair like myself we know not to brush your hair because it's just gonna get a big afro wavy crazy mess so we don't want that at all um, if you need to brush your hair, if you're one of those people who you can't, you know, go a day without brushing your hair, just finger comb the tangles out. And that's what I usually do, but I do it really softly and gently because if you're just like cramming your fingers through your hair, you're going to create frizz and we don't want to do that. So next I'm just going to take one of these combs that has a little uh, rat tail parter on the end and I'm just going to part my hair however I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do in the middle or on the side today. Hmm. Middle or side? I like middle, but everyone else likes side. So, I'm going to do middle. So, all I do is I put this right in the middle of my nose and I just pull it back like that and then separate it. So after that, you're going to use whatever your favorite hair scrunching mousse or gel or cream is. I have two right now that I like to switch off in between, and one is the Herbal Essence. This is the, what is this, Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse, and it smells really good. Before that, I used their Tossle Me Softly, and the other one I have is the Suave Healthy Curls. And this is just a scrunching mousse as well, and they compare it to Red K. I'm going to use my Totally Twisted. This gives me exactly what it says, more of a tossily loose, and if I want a little bit more tighter curls, then I use this one. So today I want kind of a beachy, um, loosey-goosey, not really caring too much to my hair, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to shake it up a bit, put out my hand, and get about that much. Uh, this may be a lot for you, it may be not a lot for you. Totally depends on your hair, uh, how thick it is or how thin it is, also how long to short it is. So I'm just going to use like that much. And also with this one, when you put it in your hands, it disappears really quickly. It's not very thick, so that's why you can use more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my head to the side like this. And what I like to do first is just loosely put it in my hair just so everything is covered and then I'm just going to scrunch up like this. And I don't really like to get a lot of product up in my roots just because my hair is pretty oily anyway so I really like to keep most of the product on my ends 
so I don't have to wash my hair every day, which I've been really good about. So I wash my hair every other day now. All right, next I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Take about that much again. Work it in between my palms. Put it lightly through my hair. And then scrunch up. And I'm scrunching very gently and kind of slowly just because if you go too fast of so scrunching you're going to create frizz and not look like a lion unless you want to look like a lion totally up to you so after I've done that I just kind of take what's ever left in my hands which is usually not that much and I just kind of work it up into my crown into my roots creating a little bit more volume Okay, so after this, you have a few options. You can either leave it like this and go. That's just fine. You can also, what I do sometimes to kind of help it, I'll take little sections like this and I'll twirl it around my fingers, hold it for a second, and then let it go. And that's just to sort of influence the curl to get the direction of where you want it to go. This is a great tip for if you have straight hair or like hard to curl or hard to keep your curl. You just want to go around your hair like that. And you don't have to do small sections or big sections. You can just grab pieces of hair. That's what I do. So next I'm just going to take a hair dryer like this. You don't have to have any certain kind. And I'm going to put it on between a warm and a cool setting and I'm going to put it on low. It's going to start at my roots very lightly and I just kind of push up. And then I just sort of dry around uh, the crown, kind of around my ear and around back to where it's still wet and I don't really want that wet effect. I'm going to do the same on the other side too. And if you want tighter beachier waves, put on a diffuser onto your hair dryer like this. Put it on the low setting, on warm, and then you can take it upside down like this. And I just kind of put some hair in it and scrunch up like this. And that's going to create looser ringlets, if you can see, like in the back like that. And another way to dry your hair is to flip it over all the way and kind of scrunch it up like this. And that's also going to create a little bit more volume too. And last up, I'm just going to take some hairspray. This is Tresemme. And I'm just going to lightly mist over. And scrunch like that. Actually, I'm going to take my little uh, comb thing here again. And I'm just going to lightly tee some of my roots just to get a little bit more volume. Alright guys, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's really easy, simple to do great hairstyle for summer because it is so fast so i hope you guys liked it and i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye i forgot to let you guys know if you have straight hair or kind of hard to curly um hair a good idea is when it's still kind of wet uh, don't blow dry it really unless you're using a diffuser but also grab one of these uh big claw clips like this and if you want, if you have the time, I guess you should say, gather all of your hair up like this. Doesn't have to be pretty. The messier, the better, actually. And you'll see when you take it down. Gather it all up like this. Take a big clip. And clip your hair up like this. 
kind of looks like Cindy Lou Who. Kind of. Would you guys make fun of me if I went out like this? I think I might. So, um, leave it like this for about maybe 10, 15 minutes or however long you have. And once you take it down, it's really going to help your hair to stay all day and really hold that curl as opposed to just going flat like a lot of straight hair uh, does when you try to scrunch it. So that's just a nice little tip. And also if you have curly or wavy hair, you can do this too. I do it as well. So 